All right, man. So what's good, bro? So yeah, just on the record, bro. For all the niggas out there, man. I ain't watch no videos. I ain't do nothing. None of that shit. I don't watch none of that. How, like how to upgrade my guy. I don't want because I already know how to do it. I don't need to watch that shit. So I'm just here because all the people want to know how I get my players so good or how I rank them up so fast or some shit like that. Or, you know, just in general, just let you niggas know. But for all the niggas out there that be in my comment section, like I watch this video, I watch that video. I ain't watch shit. All the shit that I know is from my niggas in a party or I learned that on my own. So I'm finna go ahead and let you niggas know how I do this shit. Okay, first, my nigga, if you got money, you know, in your bank account, just marinating, you ain't saving up for no no flat screen TV or no Xbox One or that that new iPhone or some shit. Then go ahead and spend your money, man. It's only like it's like twenty dollars. Like it ain't nothing. If the nigga can't, if a nigga complain that he buying VC or some shit, he just broke. I don't want to hear that shit. Ain't nothing wrong with buying VC. It's some like I know a niggas, a couple niggas. I know a lot of niggas that buy VC. Ain't nothing wrong with it. If you got the money, you spend it. You do whatever the fuck you want to do with your money. Okay, but I mean, for the people out there that don't have money, you don't have to spend money in order to be good at the game or how you get your mop player up. I'm gonna show you niggas how I get my badges really fast and how I upgrade my dude really fast. Okay, one thing that I do for this, this is my new my player that I just made. I'm not gonna show no my career with this dude. I just use this dude to play park because, as you know, my other guy, my slashing point guard, my inside point guard, he cannot shoot. So I decided to make a shooting point guard. And some of the first things that I upgraded with my VC that I end up buying is my defense. For the things that you want to do, man, when, whenever you make a new my player, I'm telling you this now. Whenever you make a new my player, I don't care what kind of my player you make. I don't care if you have the worst fucking defense in the world. Put your defender on level 16. Never make a my player and not put his defender on level 16. These, these are, this is the reason why I, I put my, my defender on level 16. Number one. It prevents you from getting you put on your fucking ass because you're at the level to where you can unlock lockdown defender. So that's like that's like the that's probably the best defense you can have. Like you know, just starting out. I mean, you don't have to maximize it unless you specialize your game around defense. Defense, then that's the probably like the only time I think you should start off maxing out your defender because you only have. A certain limit of upgrades so you don't want to use all your upgrades so I, def I suggest you putting the defender on level 16 you know for the people out there that don't have good defense or just I don't give a fuck everybody put your defender the defender on level 16 trust me number two you play 30 games and then you not even 30 my nigga like how many see let me let me go look and see how many games I play cuz I know I just unlocked the shit and I ain't even played 30 games, so that's how I know it's under 30 games. Unless they count you having level 16 defense throughout the whole, you know, career through high school and all of that shit. So look, we're gonna look, we're gonna look how many games I play. Where the fuck we are? I am the Raptor, so I only play 22 games, my nigga. And I believe if you add it up, you got the eight, and then you got the four. Do you play four games in high school? I'm not really sure. I don't really know when they start counting it, but I know you do play eight games in NBA season last year. But I don't really know how that. How that counts towards this season so I'm, I'm not really tripping as long as I got locked defender locked down defender I'm not tripping so I believe you either get locked down defender in 30 games or they count in last year's or you get you get it in 22 so it has you see it now right now it only played 22 games and I end up getting the shit in 22 games so yeah man that's that's one thing I suggest you end up doing to you my player second thing depending on what type of my player you make you make a small forward small forward you wanna I don't really know because this year small forward is broken as shit my nigga for the niggas I feel bad for all my people that was small forward last year that love the small forward position and only wants to play the small forward position I feel bad for you because like you they really can't do nothing man if I was you I would not make a small forward I believe I can make a small forward and still do what I want to do but I, I think I think it wouldn't it wouldn't be as a as effective as um, my point guard you feel me so for the people out there being a small four man, I like I feel your pain, but in my words to you, don't make small four man. Just be a shooting guard or a big man or a point guard or some shit. Like them the them the only positions. I I would, I would say be a point, shooting guard, power forward, or center. Them the only positions in this game that I feel like is worth using. Unless you play a pro am, 
I can see small forwards coming in, you know, getting rebounds, playing some defense and shit like that. But they really can't shoot. And if you make an outside guy, he has no fucking defense. What's I, what I don't get. Because Kevin Durant is like, he's a scoring machine. He can shoot outside. He can shoot inside. He can do all type of shit. He might not have the best defense, but he can still play defense. He can still be there and, you know, clamp people sometimes. Because he's long as hell. He got them long ass arms and he's tall as shit. And he's not too slow. Because, you know, if you make a really big tall point guard, I mean, not point guard, small forward, his quickness would be really, really low. His speed would be really, really low. That's two things. Like, 2K really needs to go back in and go fix the small forward position. Please don't make him OP. But, you know, they're don't they not that ass. Like, come on, man. You got LeBron James out there, the best player in the fucking world. So you can't, you can't do the small forward position like that. That's got to be one of the best positions of all, in my opinion. That's just my opinion. So, yeah, we're going to get back on the playmaker, man. For the point guard, I suggest... I'm not really sure what level this is, but... In this game, you don't need to have really high playmaker in order to be effective on the court with the Rock. In my opinion, man, I believe I put my uh, playmaker, I don't really know what level it is on, but my ball control for my point guard, it goes up to like 70. Well, it goes past that, but I put it at like 78 or 80 around there. You, like after 80, my nigga, you don't even really need to keep putting your playmaker up because I still make people fall on both my mob players. This guy and my other guy uh, both have eight. I believe this guy maybe might have a uh, higher handle, but my other guy has 80 handle, and I caught more ankles with him. So, in my opinion, man, you don't really even need to maximize playmaker yet. I would, that'd probably be the last thing I end up putting up. Next thing. Well, for the shooting guards, you know, I, don't really, I, I suggest you get your playmaker up to 11, 75. You feel me? That's in order just not to get ripped all the time and at least catch a, cu a couple ankles if you want to be out there trying to rock niggas. It's really on you, man, how you move the stick in order for you to make people fall. And, uh, yeah, don't be out there spamming Jamal Crawford. You feel me? All right, so for athlete, man, uh, every mob player that I make, I don't care if I made a fucking bench player. He's going to have fucking maxed out athlete. This my, As you see, my athlete is not maxed out, but it's really, really high. It's probably the highest thing out of all the in the, all, the, all the categories, my nigga. Like even all my my players, I always make my athlete the top one because I just want to be fast. I want to be able to get to the paint or and kick it out. I don't even need to necessarily just lay the ball up. I just want to I want to show that I'm fast enough to get to the rim, get past my defender, and make them draw in. So in order for me to kick the ball out to my open teammate, because that damn near happens all the time. Because if he don't. I know a nigga not going to hold me all the way down for the whole game of 21. I know I'm going to get to the paint a couple times or get past them. So somebody's going to have to ro rotate over and help them out. And my teammate's going to be wide open. So I suggest me. Well, that's just how I play, man. I love my athlete up. I don't care what type of my player I make. But for the, the shooting guard position, I believe... I believe this don't even necessarily needs to be high. It depends on how many, how, like, what type of my player you make. You make an inside guy, this is a must. Athlete is a must for it to be up there, my nigga. You have, you, I think, you, like, any inside guy you make. I don't fucking, I don't even know if you can make an inside power forward or whatever. I don't know if you can make an inside power forward, but, man, I don't care. If you an inside guy, max out your athlete, man. And for the playmaker, for the power forwards, I'm going to get back to the power forwards in the center. Really don't even need to have that. I suggest you have like five, at least five bars on your, your playmaker for a center or power forward. Just so you won't be getting as, ripped as much. And you can at least hold the ball. You know, if you, your two guards is getting clamped up or your one guard is getting clamped up in the backcourt, you can come get the ball and dribble at least make it cr uh, cross court or some shit like that. So that's what I suggest. Inside score. This is really tricky because, you know, last year, man, you didn't even really even need inside on your um thing, on your category. You can have that as, like, one. You can still be out there making all type of acrobats. But, my nigga, it's, it's kind of the same, but it's a little difficult this year for all positions. I don't Every position out there, small forward, power forward, center, point guard, shooting guard, this does not necessarily have to be really, really high. Inside guy... I suggest you max this shit out. That's because that's what you really base your mop player off of is going, scoring inside. So I suggest for the inside people, max that out. Inside and athlete. Them two things that should be maxed out on your guy. But for all the other positions, 
this does not need to be these this, like the inside score does not need to max it out just have it around my level i'm not really sure what level it is we can go back and go look but this does not need to be maxed out all the only badge you need in order to make inside layups my nigga is acrobat acrobat helps you make so many layups man just get the acrobat badge and in order to I'm, I'm gonna get on that later huh? i'm gonna get on that right after i get done with the jump shooting but look we finna go look at my inside lay or well, my um well you see my contact dunk is 68 driving dunk is 68 i might not post to everybody that i want to because this is an outside guy but i still can get it get the job done i can still go to that lane and dunk niggas as you see my driving layup is 64 but in like in my standing layup is 70 but you're going to see in previous um park games that i recorded I'm going to have hella inside layups, my nigga, like just scoring, contact layups, all of that shit. So, it really doesn't even matter what your inside level is on. Just don't have it but low and don't have it, you don't have to have it too high if you're not an inside guy. Alright, the last thing, jump shooting. This is damn near, this is the second, no, I think this is the athlete is damn near the same. Level 19. This is the highest thing on my guy. Well, this second, or you can say it is my first max with Af or oh, tie with athlete. This is what I base my guy around. Whatever you base your guy around, I think you should have that maxed out all times. Like my dude is outside, so of course my jump shooting is going to be hot. If you make a balanced guy, I believe you should make it playmaker and jump shooting inside. I think all that should be level and athlete. That really doesn't even matter. But in my opinion, I will max that out as well. But jump shooting, it, whatever dude you make, man, I believe if you make an outside guy, this should be really, really high because that's what you base your game around. And whatever you base your game around, that's what you should max out. That's that's how I feel. Okay, I'm going to get into this, how I get upgrades really, really fast and how I, um, how I get my badges. Man, for the niggas that's like out there making like tutorials on how to get badges, my nigga. Like for 2K16, it's man, it's really. It, I, don't, I believe they 2K didn't even change anything to me. I feel like it's easier this year to get badges because you know, last year they got the videos out there showing you how to get badges. You know, you got the niggas like Loud Mob and shit like that. Um, I believe Little Larissa and 2K actually released some um, videos on how to get they how to get badges as well. Like the actual, like the which, what number you actually need. And they didn't change any of that, my nigga, because I ain't watched no tutorials on how to get no badge, you feel me? No badge. I will, like, I didn't watch none of that shit. I just remember all the, sh the videos from last year, and I did it this year, and it worked out the same. So it's, it's all the same from last year, uh, how you got your dead eye, how you got your shot creator, how you get your microwave, unfazed, all of that shit. I believe defense or rebounding, or well, defense or all crasher, offensive crasher, I believe you need, like, 200 rebounds or 400 somewhere around there. I really don't know about that. I'm not sure you can go look up that But I don't really need that man cuz I'm a little ass point guard And this is the this is the exact same, but this is how I get my badges really fast and how I get my upgrades I got I put my shit on rookie put it on game style casual quarter length is eight minute quarters Cuz don't nobody want to be sitting all day at the house playing weak ass my career on rookie Game speed on 100. I don't give a fuck what a nigga say. If you don't have to put this on Hall of Fame, my nigga, you don't have to be grinding out, sweating tears, and all. This, you don't have to be in the house sweating bullets with the heat on, trying to get some fucking badges on Hall of Fame. You don't have to do that shit, man. I, I'm done stressing that shit. For all the people out there that's um that's getting their badges on Hall of Fame, but you don't have to do that. Especially if you don't even play my career like that. You you more of a park player. Just get you get you get your badges on rookie, my nigga, and do then go to the park and do your thing. You don't got to be stretching that shit. Put your game speed on 100 because it allows you to score more points in the game and all of that shit. And uh yeah, man, um it allows you to go for more badges, man. So like I could be going for shot creator and I can be going for fade ace all in the same game. I can just it gives me more time because the game is moving constantly, like up and down, up and up and down, up and down. We like, I score like three times in like 30 seconds or some shit. So I suggest you doing that. Put it on rookie because that's the easiest, difficult, and put it on casual because it allows you to make more shots, get more rips, and you get the, you. I get way more badges on casual than default, and I make more incredible ass shots. And another thing, this is probably the last thing. Hopefully, I'm not forgetting nothing. I'm gonna go down here and scroll. Down, show you my badges for the people that want to see. This is these are the only badges that I even really need. The only badges I really need is um Deadeye. And I, I 
be done chasing badges. I don't need none of that hop setup or I don't need no fucking pat what the fuck pat my back or off the backboard. I don't really know what the fuck that is because I don't even give a shit about that badge. I wouldn't need none of that. But the the next thing what I um what I do for my guy how I get my upgrades that's what I do. I go into a game I play the first half. The first fucking half. The first half, man, you just fuck their ass up. You rip them. You get all type of steals. You score all type of points. Do whatever you gotta do towards your badge. Or if you're not going for no badge, then just kick their ass, period. Point blank, period. Point blank, period. Just like that. You just kick their ass. Blow them out. By the time I say, maybe if you in the second quarter. It can be in the middle of the second quarter. Or it can be maybe in the third quarter. It depends on how you're blowing them out. You go, you push start, you put pause, whatever it is, you know, in your system. You go where you, you, you normally go to quit a game or sim a game or something like that. It should be an option over there. It should say, X out of the game or some shit like that. You quit that. You still get your, your, your um, you still get whatever, your, your points towards your badge or you still get your VC. Still get all of that, man. You get your off day, all of that. You quit, you click that. And then once that send you out. And you gotta um say you got like an off day, you got two off days the next day. This was this was what you do. You get ready to go to your practice, okay? And for, for the people out there who want to just strictly get upgrades, don't do none of that connection bullshit. Cause that ain't nothing but a waste of time if you're just trying to play part. You go you go go to the connection, uh not the connection, but you know where the off day and the connections and the endorsements and shit. You go over there, and then you click. You click the practice. Once the practice load in, you start saying you're my player. Walk in the um the um the the practice gym. You click you click pause right there. Don't push nothing else. Just click pause, and then you go to finish practice. You don't even have to do the fucking practice. You just you just finish it. You just click finish practice, and then it's gonna bring you back to you know the 2K navigator and the, the, the your, your, your gym. You know where you shoot around and shit. Then you're gonna see your bar. Your meter has moved. Man, doing all the extra shit, you know, the coach one-on-ones and the vertical jump. That don't do nothing but give you boost towards my career. I believe that doesn't even affect your play in the park, my nigga. So don't even, don't even bother doing that. Just go ahead and, you know, get that cool little upgrade and just repeat this up over and over and over. And you can, you can fucking get out of the game so, so fucking fast. And I suggest you play on six minute quarters. If you're trying to just, you know, strictly get your upgrades. But if you want to get your badges, I would suggest you put it on eight. Or 12 if you bought that long that long term action. You feel me? But that, this is just how I get my badges and how I get my upgrades really, really fast. And um, yeah, man, this is how you get your, your guy really, 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 really good. If you, you know, you don't want to spend too much time on the game. You ain't got, you got school, you got practice, all this extra shit. You just want to come home and your friends, you know, they, they fucking 99 overall. You 77, my nigga. Just go ahead and do, do these steps. I, hopefully this will help you out. In order for you to get to my player really fast, well, good really fast and shit like that, man. So that's just a quick tip. I'm not really sure if anybody else told you this, but this is just a quick video out there for the people that want to get their my player really good, really fast, and you know don't want to sp spend all that time on 2K. So this video is really really long, man. This video is long, so hopefully you guys are still here, you know, watching this shit. So, man. So hopefully this video helped you out, and if it did, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. More park videos coming out very, very soon, man. I got some my career for y'all, man, but I really like park. I've been playing park a lot. So, you know, man, hopefully this video helped you. Like I said, hit that like button, subscribe, and I will catch y'all later with more videos, bro.